Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you all for joining our session today. My name is Ahmed from the Global Admissions Office here at Coach University. The topic of this webinar is uh, Coach University's undergraduate offered programs, application requirements, scholarships, and admission process. As I mentioned, please feel free to insert any question you have in the Q&A box so that I can answer those uh, questions at the end of this uh, webinar. Okay, let's talk about our location uh, in Turkey. Where are we located? Our university is located on the hills of Sarıyer in the middle of a pine forest. Sarıyer is a district in the European side of Istanbul and it is 50 minutes away from the city center. Our university offers a full residential campus uh, experience on our beautiful and green campus that is accessible to central Istanbul and retreat from the distraction of the uh, city life. And of course, our university lies just 20 minutes away from the Black Sea, as you can see here. Uh, you can also see the blue strip uh, here in the picture. And also it, uh, it is uh, away, like 20 minutes away from the city nearest metro station. It is surrounded by charming villages and natural landscapes and it is connected to the city center through several convenient public transportation options like shuttles and buses and even taxis. In the next slide, you will be watching our uh, uh, main campus from uh, actually a drone. Let me also give you a very quick brief about our university's history. Founded in 1993 in Istanbul city, Turkey, Koç University is a nonprofit, private, research intensive, uh, an American style university that provides a world class education fully in structured in English. We have also seven colleges with 22 undergraduate programs 
four graduate schools with 40 master and 28 PhD programs. And we also have two other small campuses. The one that we have just seen in the uh, video, it was our main campus and we call it Rumeli Feneri Campus, all right? Where all our academic buildings uh, and other facilities are located. The other two build, uh, campuses that we have, Istinia Campus, and it's uh, like 15 or 20 minutes away from the main one. And it's actually for our graduate school of business. Uh, the third one is our school of medicine. And of course, I will, I will be talking about uh, medicine program in details in the upcoming slides. Uh, our school of medicine is located in uh, inside Coach University Hospital that is also located inside uh, the city center of Istanbul. Here is uh, actually uh, an overview about some figures and numbers. Uh, what is the total uh, uh, number of students? Uh, how many faculty members? Uh, what about the uh, alumni and uh, the undergraduate programs, as I mentioned, and other uh, uh, research uh, laboratories and uh, research centers? We have more than, as you can see here, more, more than 7,000 students in total with 521 uh, full-time faculty members, 15,900 and even more uh, alumni, and 22 undergraduate programs. And here we have 223 research laboratories plus uh, 23 research centers. What about the international uh, students uh, body at Koch University? 7% of our students are international. And the total number is 500 out of 7,000. We have 542 international students, 232 undergraduate uh, ones like yourself in the future, uh, 106 masters and 204 PhD international students. How diverse is uh, the international students at our university? As you can see here from this chart, um, some citizenships, we have more or around like uh, 45 to 50 nationalities from uh, around the world. And uh, here are some of the uh, actually citizenships with the number of students. You can check also the list from here. Why Coach University? Why should, uh, shall I uh, choose uh, Coach University to complete my uh, university uh, studies? Of course, everyone is looking for the best university where they can pursue their higher education and get the best quality of education simply by searching through the internet or by asking their high school counselors. At our university, you will have the same quality of education that world top 10 universities offer simply because you will be instructed by the best renowned professors with the same courses syllables that world top universities follow and you will be also equipped with the highest sense of ethics social awareness and responsibility so as i mentioned before the medium of education is fully instructed in english except with an exception actually for our law program our law program is designed for the Turkish citizens or the Turkish uh, international students. That is offered 70% uh, in Turkish, 30% in English. So students will be studying the Turkish law, not the international law. And of course, our university uh, is the only university in Turkey with a medical school right alongside many other colleges I will be talking about our colleges and disciplines in details in the upcoming slides uh, of a very high uh, caliber. 
as uh, also as you can see here, uh, our university is um, like there is a, a picture here. This is a sample of our classrooms. As a small university with seven thousand uh, students, uh, our uh, classes uh, or class sizes uh, are small, and the low student faculty ratio is between fifteen to one. So this will give you the opportunity and plenty of time to interact with the professor directly. And of course, we offer uh, abroad, uh, study abroad semesters like uh, exchange and Erasmus uh, program with the more than 300 globally ranked university. And of course, everyone uh, is at the same time is looking for a beautiful campus where they can spend their, uh, their university life in an academic surrounding that offers all other non-academic facilities. At our university, uh, there are basically all the facilities that are required or needed for the international uh, students, such as uh, dining and coffee houses, uh, uh, health center, supermarket, bank, ATMs, shuttle buses, facilities, uh, sports center, uh, with gym, fitness halls, uh, football, basketball, tennis, indoor and outdoor swimming pools, and uh, other uh, sports. And of course, our university, uh, as a university focused on creating well-rounded, confident individuals, in and out uh, of the classroom, uh, our university places tremendous value of providing lots of extracurricular ac activities for uh, its students and uh, dedicate the necessary resources to ensure that these opportunities satisfy and enrich the university experience. We have more than 70 active uh, student and sports clubs with diverse social and cultural activities. And of course, not only will you have the opportunity to work with lots of talented and world-class uh, pioneers, but also you will have the uh, same opportunities and high employability chances that our alumni, alumni have. And you can see here from this chart that more than 82% of our alumni actually got their job uh, uh, or first job offer before or even during the uh, last semester of graduation. Ranking is a very important actually also a, a issue or a question for everyone. Uh, what about ranking? Um, well, our university has steadily climbed in various uh, university rankings, both internationally and nationally, and is always striving to achieve even greater heights. Today, our university ranked first in Turkey based on the uh, Times Higher Education, as you can see here, and the QS rankings. So for 2021, uh, our university ranked first. And you can see here also the worldwide ranking. And of course, um, our university is uh, on the top list of the accredited universities by the Ministry uh, of Education and Higher Education in Qatar. What about the offered undergraduate offered programs? So as I mentioned before, we have seven colleges and these are the disciplines or majors under every college. I will give you like uh, 15 seconds to check the offered programs. All right, our university follows uh, the liberal, uh, liberal 
arts uh, education approach that helps students in investigate the world from different perspectives and at the same time it empowers and prepares them to deal with complexity diversity and change of course our uh, programs are four year curriculum programs except for medicine it's a six year curriculum program and every academic year is 10 months with two semesters, fall and spring. And we also offer the summer semester. What about the Turkish proficiency? Is it required? Yes, it's required for those who are applying for our law program. As I mentioned, it's 70% in Turkish, 30% in English. Is it required for other programs as well? The answer is yes, it's required for uh, medicine and nursing, but not for the admissions. It's required afterwards when they are enrolled and uh, they started their uh, residential and uh, practical classes at our hospital. So for medicine, it will be required year four onwards. All right. And for nursing, it will be required year two onwards. So students who are going to study medicine and nursing, of course, they will be also offered Turkish uh, courses, uh, Turkish language courses during their first years so that they can reach the certain level of Turkish proficiency. And how is that? So that they can interact. And why is that? So that they can interact with the patients at our hospital. What about double majors and minors? Yes. We offer also double majors and minors. You can also do a double major and doing a double major won't cost you any extra tuition fees. So it's like a golden opportunity for you to do a double major. And also we offer compulsory long internship for our engineering majors. So those who are going to study engineering, they will have uh, and they will be mandated uh, to actually do um, compulsory internships so that they can learn how to think and how to do at the same time when they, when they graduate. And of course, we offer this course. It's like a one credit year long uh, mandatory course. We call it uh, University 101. And it's an introduction to our university. And it's, uh, as I mentioned, one credit year long mandatory orientation course offered to incoming students, the newcomers. It aims to help them to successfully transition from high school to coach university and undergraduate academic and social life. What about the extra curricular support and services? for the students at Koch University. Of course, we have so many units uh, for the uh, extracurricular and services to support our students. The first unit uh, is the newcomers office. And this is the first office that you will be meeting when you arrive at our campus and you will be attending the orientation week organized by our newcomers office. And of course, you will be assigned to, uh, for, or actually every student will be assigned uh, an academic advisor will be assigned to every student and the academic advisor is usually one of our professors and the, your academic advisor will be supporting you in terms of uh, preparing uh, and arranging your study plan in terms of asking about the, the ad or um, like uh, dropping any courses and of course every student will be also assigned for or to a, a student mentor so you will also have a student mentor and student mentors usually are like our fourth or third year students. So they will be also supporting you in terms of integration uh, into your uh, academic and new university life. Our uh, international uh, community office uh, uh, actually is going to support you in terms of your residence permit, health insurance, and uh, maybe banks, uh, like other paperwork in Turkey. So everything that is related to you as an international student uh, uh, living in Turkey, so you will get support from our colleagues in the International Community Office. 
The Academic and Life Skills Office uh, actually offers uh, courses that are designed for all the students to gain awareness about essential information and skills to be successful at university and in life. Subjects taught uh, at this course are self-knowledge and goal setting, uh, effective ways of overcoming stress, managing relations and communication, public speakings, uh, and presentation techniques, uh, etc. Officer for Learning and Teaching, actually, this is our tutoring office uh, where you will be able to take any tutoring classes. And usually, our tutors uh, or our tutors tutors are uh, PhD students or master students. If you have any need to get any like uh, tutoring classes, so you can attend our. Uh, or, or uh, those uh, tutoring classes at uh, the Office of Learning and Teaching. Library, we have also a very big uh, library. You can access all the resources online as physical buildings. Our library is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you can uh, use all the facilities there for free, including the private and group rooms. The Career Development Center uh, actually you, where you will be able to improve your professional uh, skills. Uh, you will be able to learn how to write your CV. You will also uh, be doing like mock job interviews and everything related to your uh, professional life. We also offer, uh, and you have the uh, psychological counseling office, student clubs and sports uh, teams. As I mentioned before, we have more than 70 active uh, clubs. Disability Services Office for those who have any disability. Exchange Programs Office also, you will be able to get uh, all the information about doing an exchange or Erasmus program at our uh, globally ranked uh, partner uh, universities um, in the US, in Canada, in the UK, in Europe, East of Asia, Asia and other, others. What about accommodation? Do we offer or do we have any accommodation? The answer is yes, we have two big uh, dorms. The first one is on main campus. The second one, we call it the West Dorm. And it is, it is actually like seven minutes away for, uh, from the main campus. Of course, there are shuttles and there are for free for our students. And there are room types and uh, actually the fees of the, the dorms uh, range according to the uh, room type and all the facilities and the bills are included in the uh, uh, fees. And of course there are uh, like uh, weekly uh, housekeeping services for rooms and daily for common shared areas because there are shared areas in, inside the dorms like kitchens, like uh, halls, study rooms and others. If you, if you want to get more information about our dorms and see the room types, uh, you can visit our uh, website dorms.ku.edu.tr. For medicine, this is a slide uh, that is speci specified for medicine program. Our medicine program is a six year program and the awarded degree is a medical doctor degree. And it's fully taught in English, as I mentioned. However, the students uh, uh, like year four onwards are required to reach a certain level in Turkish proficiency, as I mentioned before, so that they can interact with the patients during their residential uh, classes because, uh, or years, because year four, six, uh, four, five and six are going to be fully on hospital their first uh, until third year, actually the, the first year will be theoretical at our main campus. Then the second and third, they will start going uh, uh, to our hospital. However, as I mentioned, year four, five and six will be completely on hospital. Of course, we have small cohorts for, um, uh, for our medicine program. It's the only program that we have a specified quota for international students, which is 20 students and 44 nationals. So the total number is around 60 students. Of course, there are scholarships available. I will be talking about scholarships in details uh, afterwards. 
uh, and our School of Medicine is recognized in the United States by the Education and Commission for Foreign Medical Graduates and by the GMC in the UK. Uh, our hospital is a teaching a research hospital and it's also accredited by the Joint Commission International and Koch University Hospital is uh, a member in the American hospitals. For more information, of course, you can visit uh, our hospital or our, sorry, our uh, medicine school uh, um, uh, website, medicine.ku.edu.tr. What about the admissions and deadlines? As you can see here, we have one intake, which is in poll every, every year. And the, the deadlines we have, you can see here, three different deadlines for the same intake. The first one, we call it early admission uh, or, or early session uh, deadline, then regular session deadline, and then late session deadline. So is there a difference? Uh, and why do we have here three dead deadlines? Uh, actually, there is no difference or major difference in terms of uh, advantages or benefits between the admission session deadlines as all of them refer to the same intake, as I mentioned, which is uh, full. Uh, however, and since we have a quota for, uh, only for our medicine program, which is, as I mentioned, 20 international students, it's highly recommended for those who are considering to uh, actually applying uh, uh, for our medicine program uh, to apply as earliest as possible to secure their seat. That's the only difference. Other than that, there is no major difference. Of course, how can we apply to Coach University? Uh, you need to fill our online application and then make sure to submit it. Our online application link is here, apply.ku.edu.tr. And of course, our university uh, is a selective admissions university. So we're always looking for the best quality of students. And we have a holistic admission process. Our admission uh, committee actually looks at uh, all the academic credentials that are provided by the students. I will be talking about them now. So what about the uh, application requirements? The first actually and main requirement is an international standardized test score, such as SAT1 or SAT2 or ACT. Or for those who are actually following the IB or taking the IB diploma or the uh, following the British curriculum, the GCE or A-level A2 uh, uh, grades, they can apply with their A2 grades or they can apply with their IB diploma. So those who have IB diploma or uh, A2 do not need to have also SAT. So you need only one, one of these test scores. For high school uh, transcripts, you need your 10th, 11th and 12th grade transcripts. If the second semester of your 12th grade uh, transcript is not available, you can apply with your first semester transcript, okay? If your high school diploma is not available, that's okay, don't worry. Uh, you can provide it later on. The motivation letter is our third uh, requirement. And if you are applying for more than one program, because our online application will allow you to put a uh, maximum three programs. So if you are putting three, you are applying for uh, three programs, you have to write a motivation letter uh, to every program. So that you will have to write three motivation letters and the system will show you and direct to where to write it. Of course, those who are applying for medicine program, uh, there is an extra actually, or they have to uh, do um, a motivation video. So our online application will ask them to record uh, and like some answers. They, they will be asked uh, some questions and they will have to record themselves um, answering those questions. Recommendation letter is also one of the requirements. Uh, it has to be from your high school teachers or uh, like a high school counselor. Uh, all you have to do is to type down in the online application their full name and their email address. Then you can invite them uh, or send them the reference request. 
Of course, if available, the extracurricular activities or achievements, like any kind of uh, extracurricular activities, sports, uh, social oriented uh, internships, um, uh, competitions, awards, anything, uh, or online courses. Uh, if you have actually ever done any of those, you can add them to your application as well. And of course, there will be also application fee, which is uh, 200 Turkish lira. Uh, that is around 26 or 27 uh, US dollars, and it can uh, be paid uh, through any credit card. What about the English proficiency? Is it required? Well, it's not required for the admissions, so it's optional. If you have uh, any of these test scores, like uh, TOEFL, or, sorry, uh, English proficiency uh, uh, tests, like TOEFL, uh, CAE, or uh, PTE, you can add it. Uh, if you don't have it, it's okay. It's not required for the admissions. However, if you are offered the admissions, then for the enrollment, you will be required to provide an English proficiency. So either you provide the English proficiency test or you can take uh, our university English placement exam uh, during the registration week. What about IELTS uh, score? Is it acceptable? The answer is no, it's not ex currently it's not acceptable uh, or accepted in Turkey. However, if you uh, have already done uh, IELTS, uh, you can add it to your uh, online application as an indicator of your English uh, proficiency, but still it's not going to exempt you from the English requirement at the time of uh, enrollment. This is a table for the minimum exam or, or diploma scores required. So the first, as you can see here, the first or the second column is for our colleges, except for medicine and law. So the minimum requirement is 1180. For engineering program, it's 1200. For our School of Medicine, the minimum requirement is 1450. This is from SAT1. This SAT2 is here. Then IB. And then we have the A level or A2. And for those who are considering to take the ACT, you can also see the minimum grades required. These are two tables from uh, actually average test scores of previously enrolled international students at our university. So you can check their SAT test scores average according to every college. And the second table is for the IB diploma grades here according to every college. Just if you are curious to know what is the average test scores for those previous, previously enrolled at our university, these are the tables. In this slide, uh, I will give you some tips for uh, the admissions at our university. Of course, first of all, if, you're, if you start your online application, please always choose uh, and add uh, more than one program. Just in case you were not admitted to the first program, you will be considered for the second uh, uh, or the third ones. For those who are not able to provide the SAT, for example, like uh, we get so many queries saying like I registered or the SAT uh, actually test was canceled because of COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, so it was or it was delayed until um, saying like uh, March or April. So they can still actually apply uh, without that uh, test. However, uh, they will have to indicate our online application 
will allow them to indi uh, indicate that they will provide it later on. And of course, uh, you need to write a, a motivation letter that is tailored for every and each program that you're applying for. It can be almost the same, but you need to tailor it uh, to the program uh, applied for. For those who do not have the IB or uh, A-level final grades, uh, they can apply with their IB predicted uh, grades or A A2, A-level predicted ones. So our online application will allow you to add your predicted uh, grades. However, please, when you choose the date, uh, put or insert the date of obtaining your predicted grades. Do not put any future date for the final uh, exam because the system won't allow you to add any future date. So you will be uh, putting the date of obtaining your predicted grades. Of course, all these information and details that I was talking about can be found easily here at our uh, website, international.ku.eu.tr. So I would like you to please note down this uh, uh, website and visit, uh, visit it anytime you want for any, few, uh, for any further details or queries. So once you go here, then you can go to our undergraduate programs and then how to apply. And then you will see all these details uh, uh, and information uh, there. What happens after I submit my online application? Of course, there will be first uh, uh, like a document check, just in case there is uh, any missing document. So this is why please make sure to prepare yourself uh, and uh, submit complete application so that you can get the answer uh, faster. And afterwards, uh, the uh, Academic Admission Committee will review uh, actually your online application and decide about the admission. For those who are applying for medicine, there will be, uh, they will be asked for an uh, online interview only for those who are applying for medicine program. And afterwards, uh, you will receive the offer letter. If you are accepted, uh, also you will see the scholarship decision. So every applicant will be automatically considered for our academic merit scholarships. And they will see whether or not they were uh, actually offered any scholarship. Of course, in the offer letter, you will have two options, whether to accept or reject the offer. And if you accept the offer, then there will be a tuition uh, prepayment or down payment, which is around or actually 1,000 uh, US dollars. And afterwards, then you will complete your uh, actually uh, enrollment. First, you have to complete the matriculation form uh, by providing also your uh, original uh, documents, your high school diploma, transcripts, uh, and others. And of course, uh, uh, later on, your enrollment will be completed. Then you start your first academic classes. What about the tuition fees? Uh, actually, the tuition fees are 19,500 US dollars for all our colleges, except for medicine. It's 26,500 US dollars. For those who have uh, Turkish uh, citizenship, or they have double nationalities, uh, Turkish nationality as well, um, their tuition fees will be actually announced uh, during the summertime. However, uh, from last year's, I can tell you, first, uh, they will be able to pay their tuition fees in Turkish lira. And also, usually, the Turkish uh, uh, citizenship uh, holders um, pay a bit less uh, than the international ones. So here, you can also have a look at the annual estimated budget that you need. So you will need this for your tuition fees. You will need uh, like a thousand seven uh, seven hundred uh, to three thousand five hundred US dollars for the dorms ten months. So if you ask why is why is uh, or this difference, 
Um, actually, it's uh, up to the room type that you are going to choose. So this is why there is a difference between or it ranges between 1,700 to 3,500 for 10 months, like one academic year. And of course, you will need per year uh, like uh, this amount, food for books, uh, travel. And of course, it's up to the uh, student, uh, uh, student's lifestyle, can be more or even less. However, this is the annual estimated budget for all of these, you can see. For our programs, it's between 24,000 to 27,000 US dollars. For medicine, it's like 32,000 to 35,000 US dollars per year. Again, it's up to the student's lifestyle. It can be more or even less. This is just an idea to give you an approximate uh, budget. Okay, what about the uh, scholarships offered at our university? We have only one type of scholarships. Uh, it's the uh, academic merit scholarship. And as I mentioned before, uh, all the candidates are going automatically going to be considered for the academic merit scholarships. So we don't have any separate scholarship forms or applications to submit. <clears throat> and every applicant will be informed about the scholarship condition in the admission offer, every applicant. Um, what about the, uh, the covers? I mean, what, what does it cover? Uh, it covers only the tuition uh, fees. It doesn't cover any other expenses like housing, food, books, or any other expenses. What about the duration? The duration of uh, the scholarship will be given uh, to the same duration of your program. So if you're going to study a four-year program, so it will be for four years. For medicine, it will be for six years. What about the types? How many types? We have only two types of scholarships. Either it's 100% and it's very, very competitive here, or 50%. So who's deciding about the uh, scholarships and how can it be evaluated? First of all, you need to know that uh, the, schol the merit scholarship is decided by the relevant college dean. Uh, for medicine, it's available, but it's extremely competitive because not only uh, <clears throat> uh, you, uh, will you actually competing with uh, in international students, but also you will be competing with national ones. And of course, it depends on the quality of the applicant pool to each program and each evaluation period. So there is no specific uh, minimum scores or any cut of uh, GPAs or scores to get any specific scholarship. And of course, all these elements like your GPA, high school GPA, your test scores, motivation letter, how strong it is, uh, recommendation letter, and also the extracurricular achievements, all these actually elements are going to be taken in consideration when deciding about the scholarship. If we have here with us any applicant that is interested, like a university student already, uh, to transfer to our university, of course, uh, they can do that, however, uh, there are two main requirements. The first one is to at least complete two, minimum, uh, two semesters and at most five semesters. And their GPA should be 2.40 out of four. And they have different application deadlines. This is for the university students who want to transfer to our university. Of course, if you have any further details or any actually further queries or questions, please email us to study at ku.edu.tr. And also, as I mentioned before, please visit our website so that you can get all this information from there as well. Make sure also to follow us on Instagram. We are so active and also subscribe to, you, to our YouTube channel. Thank you all, that was it for uh, the presentation today. Now I will be taking your um, actually uh, questions and answering them live.
how about transferring from Istanbul uh, Okan University? I'm a first year student studying medicine in English at Okan University. So as I mentioned here, this is the list uh, or the required documents and the eligibility to apply as a transfer student. We have a question in Arabic. أنا تقدمت بطلب للجامعة لدراسة الكمبيوتر لكنني لس لكنني ليس لدي شهادة IELTS وأريد أن أدرس كورسات إنجليزية في الجامعة كبديل عن IELTS كيف يمكنني ذلك؟ ملك يجب القبول في البداية يجب القبول في الجامعة بمعنى يجب أن تقدم بطلب لدراسة الكمبيوتر في جامعتنا وبعد القبول إذا كان عندك أو لديك الحاجة لدراسة كورس لغة إنجليزية بإمكانك الدخول إلى مدرسة تحضير اللغة الإنجليزية عندنا في الجامعة ولكن الشرط هو القبول وفيما بعد بإمكانك الدراسة في مدرسة التحضير اللغة الإنجليزية If I transfer from my current university to coach university am I uh, have to, or do I have to do the English and exam tests? Uh, and am I going to complete the second year or I have to return back to the first year? Um, Hiba, as I mentioned before, please, I'm, I'm sharing now the slide with you so that you can have the information about uh, how to apply as a transfer. And of course, uh, there will be evaluation for your former taking courses by our uh, admission committee and registrar's office, and then they will get back to you and let you know from which year you're going to study. But of course, uh, first you have to fulfill the admission criteria and be admitted. Where can I uh, find the syllables for psychology program to check program differences to join Erasmus? Well, you can easily uh, actually type psychology undergraduate program uh, at Coach University and then uh, Google will take you to our uh, psychology program page. And then you can check from there the, um, the curriculum or you can just visit our uh, uh, college cssh.ku.edu.tr. From there, you can also go to the psychology program. What is the requirements for the scholarships? Uh, this was already answered during the presentation. What if I carry a Turkish passport? Uh, am I counted as an international student? Yes, you are counted as an international student if you complete your entire high, high school education the last three years abroad. With IB, do you mean the predicted grades since the results come out in August? Yes, we mean the predicted grades. Students can apply with their IB diploma predicted grades. We should, uh, we should, so, okay, this is, we should do that, I believe. Uh, SAT1, SAT2, ACT, or only, only one. You need only one, as I mentioned. Is 1,420 SAT score good for medicine? Uh, well, honestly, it's not good. It's below our minimum criteria, which is 1,450. However, uh, you can still uh, apply, but we highly recommend you to put another program like molecular biology and genetics uh, and another program uh, as uh, your second and third preferences. But only for medicine? No, it's not good. What exactly is in the motivation letter or what, what is it? Well, the motivation letter is usually uh, tailored to the program that you are applying for. So first you will have to mention why are you applying to this program? Why did you choose uh, our university to complete your studies at? Why uh, also, why shall we uh, select you for our admissions? What actually distinguish you um, among other applicants? So if you want to get more tips and hints for how to write, for how to write sorry, a good motivation letter, please visit our website here, 
I'm going to share it again. International.ku.edu.tr. Once you go here, you will go to undergraduate, how to apply, and then you will see some samples from like uh, motivation letter samples from those who were previously admitted at our university. كيف يكون التبادل الطلابي؟ يكون التبادل الطلابي بين جامعاتنا وجامعات أخرى في العالم إن كانت في أمريكا أو في كندا أو في بريطانيا أو في أوروبا بإمكان الطلاب التقديم عن للدراسة لمدة فصل واحد أو فصلين بأي جامعة شريكة لجامعة كوتش في هذه الجامعات طبعا التقديم له شروط بعد الانتهاء من السنة الأولى يوجد طبعا حد معين للعلامات مينيموم جي بي اي ومن ثم يمكن الطلاب التقديم يوجد مكتب نحن مكتب الاكستشينج والاراسمس اوفيس سيساعدون الطلاب ويقدمون لهم الدعم اللازم للتقديم الى هذه البرامج ومن ثم الطالب يذهب ويدرس في تلك الجامعات لمده يسافر لمده سمستر فصل واحد او فصلين How many subjects uh, I just, uh, or what grade should be? Well, I already shared that. However, I will be sharing again the minimum required scores here. So for uh, A-level, as you can see here, for our programs, you need two minimum two relevant courses and the grade should be minimum B or A or A star, okay? For medicine, you need minimum three relevant courses and the minimum grade should be A or A star. And of course, you can still apply with your A-level predicted grades. If your SAT score is below the minimum, but your IB and SAT2 scores are high, is it okay for medicine? Uh, of course, you can apply with your uh, IB diploma, no need for the SAT directly or you can apply also with your SAT too. So make sure to fulfill the minimum criteria and then apply accordingly. This is out of topic, but the hospital is where uh, this series' music doctor was filmed. Am I right? There is a need for an answer. It was out of curiosity. Our hospital, uh, well, actually, I'm not sure about this series is that you are talking about. However, please send us an email to study at so that we can uh, investigate and ask our colleagues at our School of Medicine and then get back to you accordingly. Can we get work permission to cover our expenses? Well, uh, the international undergraduate international students are not allowed to work uh, in Turkey. However, if you manage uh, to work at any company and they manage to uh, apply for a work permit for you, then yes, you can apply. So SAT1 is not required if you have SAT, yes, as I mentioned, SAT1 or SAT2, okay? So either you apply with SAT2 or SAT1, no need for both of them. All right, uh, I believe that was it for the questions. I would like to thank you all so much and uh, please uh, keep in touch with us. We look forward to receiving actually your online applications. Um, I'm, I'm going to end the wrap up actually, just a second, okay. These are our contact uh, details here. Please feel free to, con to, to contact us, to write us uh, an email anytime so that we can get back to you in less than 24 hours. Thank you so much once again for attending this webinar today. Uh, please stay safe and healthy. We look forward to seeing you inshallah soon in the future. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.